So I've used two CPs to auto explode. How many inches is it going to explode? It's going to explode, that's not looking good. Two inches. <laughs> oh, 10th edition, hurry up right. and come. So the time has come, the last ever game of 9th edition. I'm here with Richard, he's got his orcs, and I've got a rather unusual Necron list. And it's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking, and welcome to this battle report, our last ever game of 9th edition. We are looking forward to this, we are going to have some fun, and... For good measure, I've got a rather unusual Necron list. So, first of all, hello Richard, how are you? Hi oh, Nick, good, and yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Are you looking forward to this game? Definitely, it's a good one to end it on, isn't it? It is indeed. I have no intentions of winning this game. I cannot see me winning this game at all. However, it is definitely going to be fun. So let's have a look at my list. Okay, so I am taking a custom dynasty in the Arcs of Omen detachment, and the name of this army is called Who Gives a Beep Dynasty. Yes, we do not care. Uh, to the point that I'm taking a custom dynasty that uh, represents that. So I am taking the Contemptuous of the Codes a dynasty, which gives me plus one to hit against characters. I've also got Interlopers, uh, so sixes auto wound against infantry and bikes. My all game protocol is going to be a plus one to living metal. Heading up the force is Illuminor because I haven't played him much and he's an awesome miniature. So we have him. We've got two crypto thralls there to back him up. We then have an hexmark destroyer. And he's going to have a plasma site there. We then got two units of Praetorians because, well, I haven't played Praetorians or 9th edition, so we are today. We've got this Pariah model. Uh, they're going to be proxying with the rod, and of course, these are WYSIWYG with their weapons. So we've got the particle casters and shields. We then have in the fast attack choice three Scarab Swarms and a unit of Forge World Achenthrites. The three models on the left are actual Forge World models, and the three on the right are my converted ones from old school Necron Wraiths. We then have their big bad boy, the Heavy Construct, the Seraptic, and I'm taking the guns which are now discontinued, the Singularity Generators, which is actually my favourite gun uh, to use when I play him. So, there we go, we've got him 600 points. Very, very expensive. He's got a five plus invulnerable save. If it was a four plus invulnerable save, I think he would be worth the points, but that's the way it is. And then finally, we've got a Gauss Pylon, which has also disappeared from the Forge World website. What is going on, Forge World? And that is it, that is my army. It's 2,000 points exactly, and I'm going to start with six CPs. Okay, Rich, so Orcs again? Yep. And uh, what have you taken? Let's have a look. All right, it's a fast attack choice, uh, Arcs of Omen. I've got uh, Beast Boss on Squigasaur. He's got half chewed Warlord trait and the Head Killer's Chopper as his relic. Gavin got two weird boys. One's got the Crunt and the Jump. The other one's got Warpath and Chris of Gork. I've got one unit of 10 Gretchen. I've got two units of 10 Beast Nagger boys. One unit of 10 boys and the uh, mob's got the power core in there, but they got pump guns and power snapper. In the elite slot, I've got two lots of five commandos. Then fast attack, I've got 10 storm boys, two lots of copters, two lots of squigs on smasher shore. In the heavies, I've got the battle wagon with a kill cannon and the kill rig, of course. Of course, you can't have a list without a kill rig, can you? I love a kill rig. And <laughs> The underlined slot, I've got the knob on Smasher Squig and he's got proper killing and he's got the Iron Gob Relic, which is basically any time in the fight phase I'm in engagement range, on the 2+, plus I do more wounds to something. 
Right, okay. Very nasty. This uh, is going yeah. to be fun. And the snares wagons, of course, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Don't forget those. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So you've got a lot of models there, especially compared to my army. Yeah. Uh, we know what the mission is, but first, let's have a look at our secondary objectives. Right, the Goths are here to finish what they started, uh, and they are taking a Warp Ritual, Stomp and Good, and No Prisoners. And uh, the can, the cans win. <laughs> That's me. Um, I'm taking, grind them down, bring them down, and behind enemy lines. So yeah, no Necron secondary objectives. Not really here for points. So yeah, we're just gonna have some fun. Okay, so we rolled randomly for the mission. We've got tear down their icons. We've got this sort of sandwich deployment, and then we've got five objectives. One in our deployment zone and three in no man's land. Uh, the second part of the mission is going to be to do uh, actions. You've got to lay explosives and then you can stop the explosives from being uh, there uh, by doing an action on it as well. So that's going to be interesting. I don't know that I'm going to be doing too many of those to be fair. Uh, scoring for the primary is four points for one objective, eight points for two and 12 points for more. And that is it. We are ready to rumble. Let's get ready. Let's get <laughs> ready. Let's get ready to rumble. You looking forward to this, Rich? Oh, I am definitely getting forward to this. I'm just trying to think, what, what, am I putting anything in the battle wagon? <laughs> <laughs> I've, got ten ball, I've got ten things in there. New plan. Run away! <laughs> okay, so we have deployed. I didn't uh, take very long. I've got my... A Hexmark Destroyer and Plasma Sight in reserve, those three Scarabs there. And then we've got Illuminal with the three main units just there. Of course the Pylon and Soraptic. And then Richard has infiltrated his Commandos. We've got one unit there and one unit there. Then we have a whole line of Orcs. And the two units of Beast Snaggers are in the two vehicles just there. So we're ready to rumble and uh, no. I'm not going to say that anymore. I hate that. It just reminds me of Ant and Deck. We're ready to roll for the for the first turn. So here we go. Who's going first? I roll a three. Richard rolls a five. So there you go. Turn one to the end. He's warring already. Already. Make use of it. You've got two turns of war, not one. I know. <laughs> Okay, so Richard is getting into the swing of things. He's moving. He's moving pretty much everything apart from those guys who are probably just about to do the jump. So we've got just the massive movement as he far forward as so possible. Well. <laughs> <laughs> These guys here did a six advance. So yeah, they're right on top of my Praetorians. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens next in the psychic phase. Okay, so so far Richard did Warp Ritual with his Weird Boy, that was three points. And we've had the jump here with these guys. And uh, now Richard is going to do Smite on the Seraptic, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Goes off. Okay. Two, two mortal wounds on the Seraptic. So that takes him down to 26 wounds. And uh, we've got, what else have we got, Rich, happening? Oh, uh, no more thing, I'm just measuring up shooting options. Okay, so circuit phase over. I'm going to move into the shooting phase, which is deciding what to shoot and where to shoot it. All right, first to shoot are the battle buggy wagon car. Boom, boom dacker, snaz wagons. <laughs> the boom dacker, snaz wagons. There's only two in range, yeah? Shooting at my acanthropes. So you need sixes to hit because obviously I'm minus one yeah. uh, to hit. So, sixes. Five. Okay. Strength five. Toughness five. So four. Five. So two. Minus two, yeah? Yeah, minus two. Oh, okay, so I get plus one because of my uh, command protocol, so it puts me on a four up. I saved one of them. How much damage? Two damage. Two damage, one dies. So, reanimation protocol. We get it back up again. Very nice. 
Right, actually they've got three wounds, so ignore that. Uh, so I've got one wound left on one of the Akanthrites. Okay, so that wasn't all of the guns. There are more guns to come. Richard said that I can keep my two fives for my RP roll if he kills another one, which he probably will. <laughs> so, okay. You're minus one to hit anyway. Yep. I get a plus one to hit. Okay. So so that would still make me fives, but you're in dense cover, which is me shooting through dense cover is minus one. Right. So it is still set. And fours. So one. One more. Yeah, it's uh, just just a hit minus one on that. Okay, so I get my three up, save them. Three up. No. So now I need a five, right? Yeah, just one, one, two, three, Come on five. then. Come on. Come, <laughs> Come on then. Come on. Five. Oh. <laughs> That's a shot. Okay. Uh, so that's that unit finished shooting, yeah? Yeah. We have one dead Akinthite. Okay, so next we've got the copters shooting at the Seraptic. How many shots? D3s, yeah? Yeah, D3s on these. So, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven shots. Five. Five, two, four. That's not bad. Right. So now, now four. Strength eight, toughness eight. Yeah. So two go through, okay. minus two. Minus two, so we minus one effectively, because yeah, my so light cover. So a four plus save. Yeah. I make one. So three damage. Three damage. Okay. There we go. Second unit of copters onto the strap ticket now. That's a better roll. That's a hell of a. So that's six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So three extra dice. So five. Take the one misses out. It's easier. That's not bad. Nope, that's decent. Seven hits. And then fours to wound. Three, six, seven. And fours to wound. So two again. Two again, okay. Four up. I'll make one again. So three. Another again. three wounds. Okay, so next up it's the battle wagon shooting the lobber at my Akinthrites and the big gun at my Seraptic. The white dice is the lobber. So this is D6 shots each. Five and four. Okay. Needing fives. Uh, don't forget they're hard to hit. So sixes on the white. Okay. No white ones. And no, no red ones. Which is fair enough. Right, next up it's the kill rig shooting at the Seraptic. White dice is the. What? The. the uh, where tower. Rightio. And that's the lobber. Okay. D3 on that, D6 on the. Right. Uh, I will re roll that one. Get three shots out. Of okay. It. Just one on the lobber. Rightio, so command point used. Okay, so the red one's auto hit and the white one oh, needs. I need a, a two, two, two fives, yep. basically. So, okay. So, no. Uh, and no, one one miss on there. Two, two go through at minus three. Minus three, so there'll be minus two, which puts me on a five up in vulnerable save. Come on! Come on! Come on! It's a six. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so how much damage is that one that's gone through? It's, two, it's a D6. D6 damage. Two, two damage. Okay. Okay, end of the shooting phase. We're now moving into the assault phase, and Richard said, being a true orc that he is, He's just going to stand there and not assault. Is that right, Rich? <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> you heard it there. He there you is. go. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So it's a seven inch charge into the Praetorians. Yep. Uh, how far away are they? It's a nine. Oh, I could. No, I'll, I'll just do it with a Praetorians, don't be greedy. And then the boys will do your Serap deck. Okay, okay. Where would you like to go first? I'll do. Uh, I'll do the small charge first. Yep, okie dokie. Seven. Gets me dead on, gets me dead in yep. because I'm only eight inches, so that's gives me an inch away. Be there. Okay, they are in. Right, next then, uh, the Seraptic is going to overwatch on those boys there. Uh, so we get three D3 shots at uh, each one. It is Blast, which it has 10 uh, miniatures. So let's see how many shots we're going to get. That's three ones, which isn't great. So two, four, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So you, you, you'd get, you'd just add the extra three because average you'd get, you'd get 12. Okay, right, so here we go. We now need sixes to hit. We get two, two sixes. What? Two sixes, Rich. Do you think your orcs can survive this? They oh, might I've do. I've got five. I've got they five. They might do. Uh, so let's have a look. We are strength eight minus three. So freeze. Both through. Vulnerable save time. Richard selecting his special dice. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm going. Box you don't want to waste it, do you? you don't want to waste no. it. Five. No. Two, no. Two die. Yeah. D6 damage each. Yeah, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they only got one wound each. They're orcs. <laughs> I'll, I'll remove them when I get yeah. round to charge them. In okay, minute. so assault range. You need a nine, presumably, yeah. re-rollable. Yeah, three re-roll. But, ooh. I will we need a re-roll. You will. Yes, of course, Richard is always in. <laughs> he's always in. <laughs> Why do I even dream that he's going to fail? Right, Richard really wants to kill these Praetorians. He's uh, coming in with a stratagem to give him extra hits on fives and sixes. And he's got 41 hits, yeah? Uh, attacks so far. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, 41 yeah. attacks. Okay, so here we go. So, what Three. do you need? Threes? threes with six, fives and sixes being a dick. Yeah. And it's going to be threes to wound as well, because you're currently strength seven, right? And I'm toughness five. Yeah, so. Right, so started with 41 dice, ended up with yeah. 42 dice after that roll. <laughs> now needing threes to wound. Yeah. This could hurt quite badly. It's going to be a loss of saves. Right, 32 saves at minus one. Puts me on a four up save. Right, at least I can see some falls there. That's one dead. Two dead. Three dead. Four dead. Five dead, six dead, seven dead, eight dead, eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. I do get RP then, which is useful. Okay, here's the RP rolls on a five plus. We get, got a few. Yeah, one, two, back, three back. So. Five die in total. Okay, so next we are over here. I am going to interrupt because I'm only a few wounds away from being in the next tier down. So I need to weaken these, I think, first. I'm going to use the uh, Reaping Sweep. So I've got six attacks. Normally I get two extra hits for each one with this weapon. Uh, we are going to need threes to hit. Take out those ones and twos. Okay, and we are now strength eight. So it's threes. Take out the ones and twos. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, and those are at 
minus one, you get your invulnerable saves anyway. Two damage, not that it makes any difference here. Okay, fives. Just the one, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. Two six, damage each. Seven. And the knob. Knob's oh, got two, yeah, so he wouldn't, be, he wouldn't, as I said, yeah. That's a shame. Unit dead, yeah? Yeah. Unit dead. Okay, next are my rods from my Praetorians. Uh, so we are going to need threes. Take out those misses. And now we are strength five. You are toughness five, so fours. So that is four minus three saves. Five ups. Two. Makes two, they're two damage each. Doesn't matter. Okay, that is the end of Orcs turn one. Let's move in to Necrons turn one. Okay, command phase, I got two wounds back because of my living metal and the wounded Praetorian got his wound back. Illuminor is going to bring back another Praetorian and he's going to bring back the dead Canoptic Acanthrites. Okay, movement phase. Right, end of movement phase. I've moved the uh, Sraptic up there, the Praetorians just there. We've got the Luminor here. These guys have fallen back. And we've got the Scarabs and the Acanthrites just there. Right, a Luminor is going to augmentate that unit of Praetorians. What is he going to get? Plus one to ballistic skill. <laughs> Right, first up it's the pylon shooting at the uh, battle wagon there, mm -hmm. so it's a heavy blast at D3 times 2. Yeah. How many shots? We get, that's not bad, I'll take that, 5. Okay, so we need 3's to hit. We miss with 2, of course we do. And then we are strength 16 rich. Okay. So toughness. Eight, is it? Yes. Yeah. Or toughness seven on the battle wagon? Toughness. It's toughness seven toughness as seven. it is, but it's got okay. five up in roll. So it'd be twos then? All in. Uh, minus four, but like you say, you've got your five up in one. How many is it? Three. Three. Okay, so three five ups. Nope. And that is D3 plus six damage each one. D3 plus six? Yeah. 18, 19, 20, 21 damage. So, see if it explodes, it doesn't. Okay, okay. And then you've got some guys in there, right? Yeah. Okay, so next it's Illuminor shooting at the copters. Richard has used his um, only command point for minus one to hit. Uh, so it's D3 shots. Three shots. Right, so minus one, it'll be fours to hit. We hit with none. Okay, the two crypto throws shot into these guys and Richard saves both of the wounds that came through. I'm now shooting the Praetorians at the commandos there. We're going to need twos from our augmentation. So twos, just the ones that miss. And as usual, there's a few ones. Strength six, toughness five, so three. Take out the misses, which is mm. a reasonable amount. However, there are six saves there to make, Rich, and these, not that it makes any difference to you, are, are zero AP. It might make a difference. No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the the involved save is still better. Okay. So two. Die. Right, okay. That leaves the knob on power claw. Right here. Find out where he is. Right, next it's the Akanthrite shooting at those beast boys, whatever they're called. The uh, Squig Hog Boys. Squig Hog Boys. Okay, we get some one shot each. We are just at half range. Uh, but first of all, we've got to get these bullets out and we are hitting on fours. So wish me luck. We hit with two. That is appalling, appalling. 
Uh, strength eight. So threes. We hit with one. Great. I'm not. I'm not laughing. No, you're not laughing <laughs> at all. Uh, minus four AP. No. Not saved. Uh, so it's normally D6 damage, but because I'm half range, it's D6 plus two. Right, so. <laughs> it's a one. It's a one. Of course it's a one. Uh, three damage. Probably, hopefully, enough to kill one of them. Yeah. Yeah. You kill, you kill one. All right, so last to shoot is the Seraptic, and I'm going to put all of the uh, shots into the kill rig. So we've got six D3 shots. Got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shots in total. All right, needing threes. Miss with two of them. And toughness eight, right? So mm -hmm. we are strength eight. So it's going to be fours. Mm. We get four of them. Four. So you've got a five up in vulnerable save. These are minus three. Yeah, so it's either fives or sixes, but no, I'll take the fives. Okay. Two. Two. Okay, so it's D6 damage each. Nine. 17. Seven, seven wounds left, I believe. Okay, assault phase. My Achanthrites have assaulted these guys here, my Praetorians into the uh, Copters, and my Seraptic into the Kill Rig. Richard has no CPs to interrupt, so I'm free to choose. So let's start with the Achanthrites just here. Okay, so we're attacking with our Void Blades on those guys. We do need fours to get the uh, attacks out, and we've rolled really badly. We are not surprised though, are we Rich? Uh, I am a little shocked. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> right, uh, so strength. We are user strength, that'll be strength five. So it'll be fours. That's a, better, a, that's yeah. a better roll, it's not an amazing result, but we've got five saves there and these are minus three. But of course you've done the war, so you're five up in one. Makes three of them, of course you do. And what's the damage each? The damage is a one. So one's on the wound. That did not go well. So two died actually. Yeah, yeah the I end. was looking yeah. at the squig on for always not. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up then, let's move to the Praetorians. All right, I'm going to use Judgment of the Triarch, uh, which gives me plus one to hit. Uh, so that'll be useful. I'm going to be hitting on twos. We've got 40 attacks in total. So here we go. We need twos. So only the ones mess. Ah, not, too, not too many, not too many. I'm happy with that. Just seven misses. All right, strength five, toughness five, fours needed. Let's see how many fours we've got. So we've got there. So we've got four. Twelve, sixteen, seventeen. And let's do these. Then. We've got four wounds each, yeah, these copters? Yeah. So one's down to a wound. Richard is daring to use my dice. He knows how badly they roll. So that's one dead. So dig two again, and he's got two wounds. So got three wounds. <laughs> that one dies. One, one left and one wound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as always, as always. <laughs> Okay, on to the Seraptic. This time I'm going to use the other profile, which is Impaling Strike. So just six attacks. However, we've got uh, a much better strength. But first, we've got to get these out. So, we need threes. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. That should be enough to kill it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
Mine not. <laughs> it's got five wins, right? Yeah. Well, what's your strength on this? Yeah, okay, so the strength is times two, so it'd be 16. So twos. Twos. No ramshackle. One's would be nice to see, but I won't see any. Okay, that's good. Uh, it is a minus, minus three. And what's the damage? Five each. So I'll need to save two. Saves one, no command points left. So? Does he explode? Does he explode, which is getting his devil dice out? Of course he is. Yeah, oh, that dice! Yes. I, I yes. hate that dice! <laughs> uh, right, okay, how many inches? I mean, anything within three inches. Three inches, okay, so. You measure them, you tell me. Yes, yeah, so you've got to be your copters and these and me and nothing else. Cop copters and just the copters. And copters and the commandos. Right, copters yep. and commandos are purple. Use this dice switch. Well, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Purple is a com command, those yellows is a copters. Okay. And D3, unfortunately. Two. Two, two on the commandos, three on the copters, uh, does the copter in. Right, so Richard assaulted me back. I lost two Akanthrites, one got back up, one of the other Akanthrites has lost a wound. Uh, over here, I lost. One wound rolled really well with my saves. Just one wound missing. And that is it. So I got eight points for bring it down. I got three points for grind them down. Killed three units, which it didn't wipe a, a unit completely. And that's it as we move in to turn two for the orcs. Right, turn two movement for reference. My protocol this turn is going to be plus one to strength. Uh, Novok Dynasty. Okay, so we've got some movement over here. These have moved up. We've got these beast snaggers moving up into this middle area. And then the Seraptic is being surrounded. Seraptic's on 18 wounds. Will he survive this turn? We will find out as we move into the psychic and shooting phase. Right, I survived that pretty well to be fair. Um, I did get some smite coming in. Everything here shot into the Seraptic and I either saved it or Richard missed. Over here I lost a Praetorian, I actually lost two, but one got back up. And then I lost one Scarab base there, so I weathered that fairly well. However, now I have to weather the assaults phase and I think pretty much everything here is going to be assaulting the Seraptic. These are going to be assaulted by these beast snaggers, probably this guy with the power fist, and over here some more assaults. So we'll be back, let's see what's left. Right, we are in the assault phase. My Seraptic just lost his last wound. I've used two CPs to auto explode. How many inches is it going to explode? It's going to explode, that's not looking good. Two inches. <laughs> oh, 10th edition, hurry up well, and that, come. <laughs> that, that's good for you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I would have liked it a bit bigger. But because that's, that's all more, that's Actually, all more. it is all every, it is everything. It's all my units. Okay, yeah, take any, it back. I take any, it back. Any bigger and I'll, you'd have got yours. True. Okay, I love you, Dice. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, here we go then. Let's see what damage we can do. Okay, so it's D6 mortal wounds. So we're going to start with the copters. They get one mortal wound. The commandos, they get four mortal wounds. So that's four commandos dead. We've got this uh, unit at the back here. Three. So that's one of them dead. The characters. Bit, uh, one. Oh. And the beast snaggers at the back there. Six. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so just like maybe some would say ninth edition finished too quickly. Sadly, so did this last game of 9th edition because we had a bit of a family emergency. Uh, Richard had to shoot off, so we've sadly had to call the game here, but these things happen. Obviously, family does come before Warhammer 40k, uh, so I'm sure you can understand. Um, I did kill the copter here, which would have been another bring it down point. 
Um, I've lost most of my acanthrites here and my scarabs. Uh, these guys still have to assault, so I'm probably going to lose both of my uh, acanthrites there. Score-wise, um, to be fair, I mean, I was never going to win this game anyway. Mainly primary um, objectives, you know, I wasn't going to score very well. Um, I was going to hopefully get a few behind enemy lines. With my Hexmark Destroyer there, which has opened up the massive gap at the back there, so I think I would have probably got in, maybe scored a few points, but, you know, no way I was going to win this game. But I really hope you enjoyed what you did see of the battle report. It was really nice to get the pylon and the Sraptic and those Acanthrites on the table and to actually see some Praetorians in action. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, that is it. 9th edition is over. 10th edition, here we come. And if you want to see my 10th edition Necron videos and more, then please make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, here is a playlist just in case you want to see some more 9th edition battle reports. Uh -huh.